Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to 2019. I haven't seen you since last year. Remember in middle and high school when everyone would always say that, they would be like, I haven't eaten since last year. <laughs> I always thought it was so ridiculous, but here I am saying it. Anyway, today is get my life in order, get our house in order for 2019 day. That is what today is. You might be able to hear, I am just coming off of being sick for four or five days. My husband, right before I got sick, he was sick for four or five days. And then before that, I had um, some neck thing go on and I was like laid up. I pulled out my neck and I was like laid up on the couch and in bed for four or five days. So for the past over two weeks, it has been very low key at our house because we have been on and off sick and hurting and just kind of a total mess, to be honest with you. So our house is reflective of that since we have not had lots of energy or not been feeling very well. And so today is a day where I would like to start taking down some of the Christmas decorations, start cleaning up, get some laundry done, wipe down the kitchen, do the dishes, which are a massive mountain, just all of the little things that have really been put off for a couple of weeks now. It's definitely time to get it together. It's also a beautiful day today. It's close to 70 degrees. I think it's 68 degrees here right now, even though it's early January. It's just a beautiful, beautiful day. So I plan on opening up the windows and getting some fresh air into our home. I know that's gonna feel really good and just air it out. You know, like kind of like spring cleaning in January is kind of where I am with all of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and film snippets of my day today and um, I'll probably do like voiceovers throughout um, and just talk about kind of what I'm doing and chit chat with you guys a little bit. I hope you enjoy it. I don't think that I'll get to everything because my stamina and energy are still recovering from being sick. So I have a quite a long to-do list, but I'm not sure that I'm gonna get to everything on it. I'm gonna do the very best that I can and at least start tackling some of the things on my list. So welcome to my get it together for 2019 vlog. I hope you enjoy it. Here we are, let's go. So the way that I start a lot of cleaning is by starting with our bedroom because I usually like to start somewhat in the morning, the beginning of the day, and so it was high time to get our bedroom in order. And we still had Santa sheets on the bed and I knew that I wanted to switch those out and wash those and put them away for next Christmas. And so that was the first thing I did was just strip the bed down. And about two or three times a year, I wash the comforter on our bed. We sleep with a flat sheet um, and a top sheet. Is that what it's called? A flat sheet, a fitted sheet, and then a flat sheet or a top sheet. Those are the same thing. And so because of that, I don't feel the need to wash our comforter all the time, but I try to wash it, like I said, a few times a year and just get it fresh. And today was one of those times and um, our washing machine can handle it. So that's really nice. So here I am just pop popping the sheets into the washing machine. I wash the sheets and then I wash the comforter separately. Then I'm moving on to my vanity. I have this vanity here in our bedroom with some of my makeup on it and things like that and it just tends to get so cluttered and so I was going through and putting everything away and things that I had received as Christmas gifts, little stocking stuffers and this and that, just kind of putting them all, you know, to each side. I, you'll notice that my Apple Watch is sitting here. That is because when I'm cleaning, I don't really like to wear it unless I have a case on it, and my case um, just broke, so I, need, I ordered a new one off Amazon. It hasn't come in yet, and so I, I was worried about as much as I was moving around that I was going to, like, crack the screen. So I'm using the Caldrea Sea Salt Neroli countertop spray just to wipe down the vanity here. I love the way that this smells. My favorite countertop spray of all time is still the Caldrea Tangelo Palm Frond. It is the absolute best to me, but I know a lot of people love the Sea Salt Neroli. They're, they're both amazing. I mean, the Sea Salt Neroli is super good too. So I'm just dusting down my bedside table. I did the same thing to Riley's, but I don't think that I filmed that. And so I was just kind of dusting the whole bedroom. I, I also dusted off our dresser, which is um, kind of where the camera is sitting here, so you can't really see, but on the other side of the room, our dresser, I did dust that as well. So our bedroom got a very nice top to bottom clean on this day. Here I am just folding up um, one last load of laundry. The day before that I filmed, the day before I filmed this video, I had spent most of the day on and off doing laundry because we hit, were quite behind on laundry and I had several loads to do. So this is just the very last of it. This was in the dryer when I woke up in the morning. And so because I knew the sheets were in the washing machine, they would be heading into the dryer. I wanted to make sure to get this folded and sorted and put away so that I would be able to have obviously the dryer empty to be able to put the sheets inside of it. 
Moving on to the kitchen, which was, as you can see, an absolute disgusting disaster. This is something that we both were trying to chip away at dishes little by little, but it was, we were sick and we were laid up on the couch and we were, we ordered pizza and we just reheated foods and we were not, you know, thinking much about doing dishes, but it was time for us to get it together here in the kitchen. So I was more than willing to take one for the team and scrub down the kitchen. Um, Riley's usually the one that does that actually in the evenings. Um, after we cook dinner together, he usually is the one that does a total kitchen reset for us each night. It's really one of the things I love most about him. <clears throat> I love waking up to a clean kitchen, so he does that a lot. But anyway, so you can see also I'm Marco Poloing with my friend, which is like a video messaging app. And so that's why there's, I keep picking up my phone. I'm kind of looking at my phone and talking to it because I'm Marco Poloing with my friend um, while I was doing dishes, which made it a lot more fun. I really hate doing dishes, but I feel like when your kitchen is clean, to me it feels like when the kitchen is clean and when the bed is made, I feel like our entire house is clean. Now, of course, I love totally scrubbed down bathrooms and empty trash cans and vacuum lines on the carpet and streak-free windows and all the rest of it, but I truly feel like when the kitchen is clean and when the beds are made, I just feel like the house is pulled together in a way that I don't feel when those two things aren't done. So those are like always my top priority when I'm having a cleaning day. You can look and see in the corner on the left side of the screen that our den was not tidy yet and there's blankets strewn about and all this. But to me, if the kitchen's clean, then it somehow it just makes the whole house feel cleaner. Do you feel like that? Or is there a room in your house that you feel like that about? Maybe if you have like a central, you know, living room or family room or something, maybe you feel like that about that. But maybe you feel the same way about the kitchen. So I'm just continuing lots of dishes to do. I filled up our entire dishwasher. There were so many dishes and I ran that and then I was just hand washing a few pots and pans that wouldn't fit, still talking to my friend, using that countertop spray, which works really well and smells amazing and just kind of getting it done. Now I'm picking up my Method Heavy Duty Degreaser and I love using this after we cook anything oily or greasy. So the day before I filmed this, Riley had cooked a pound of bacon and he had kind of wiped up, but the kitchen was such a disaster that frankly it was hard for him to, to clean it well and so I was more than happy to kind of wipe down and um, you know get our, our stove top and the oven clean because it was, even the teapot was all, tea kettle was all covered with grease. Um, so I wanted to, Get that wiped down with that heavy duty degreaser which works really well the next thing i'm moving on to do is to clean our microwave with my angry mama i'll link this below you can grab her on amazon and you fill her with half vinegar and half water and put her in the microwave for about five minutes and she steam cleans the microwave it works so well i love her she has like little holes in her head and so the steam just like jets out of the top and it really really works and cleans the microwave super well you just wipe it down which i'll show you in a minute here I grabbed some fresh white sheets out of our linen closet since the Santa sheets sadly were being packed away and I pulled those out and I was making our bed with them and you can see the windows open and the breeze is coming in. I get so many questions about this bed. It is from Wayfair.com. Our, our bedside tables are from Ikea. My vanity is from Target. Um, and the chair that I have at my vanity is from Home Goods, I believe. And so, you know, that's where all this stuff is from. Our comforter I get a lot of questions about as well. That is from Pottery Barn and um, some of the other pillows on our bed are from Target. This comforter was on sale and then I also had a gift card, so I got it for a really good price. And then those three Euro shams, the big square pillows in the back are also from Pottery Barn and the white ones are from Target. And then that little one is um, from, I bought the pillowcase off Amazon and my husband embroidered it at his studio. Now you can see I'm just wiping down the microwave. Unfortunately, you can't see how truly dirty it was before. It was, y'all, it was gross. It was, it was like nasty. And it's just perfectly clean. My husband opened it up when he got home from work. He was like, oh my gosh, I, I didn't even realize how dirty your microwave is. It looks amazing. That angry mama thing is like one of my favorite things. So I went ahead and washed that turntable in the that little, I guess that's what you call it. I don't know what you call that little circle thing. Um, wash that in the sink as well as the cover that we keep in there, which we put on top of plates so that it, to try to minimize the splattering, which, you know. Then I was just giving the oven, cooked up a quick wipe down and then moving on to vacuuming. 
This vacuum is my absolute favorite thing ever. I love it so much. I really don't like vacuuming and Riley does about 80% of the vacuuming in our house. He usually vacuums once a week, once every 10 days on the weekends and um, he enjoys it. I do not enjoy it. But ever since I've gotten this cordless Dyson vacuum that I got for Black Friday, it was like my big Black Friday purchase. I will link it below. It makes vacuuming so much easier. Without the cords, it's lightweight, it holds its suction. I just totally love it. So. I highly recommend it if you're in the market for a vacuum that is cordless. That one's awesome. Just wiping down our back door that goes out to our backyard. I do this very infrequently. <laughs> it's embarrassing how infrequently I do that, but it was really, really dirty, and so I was glad to wipe it down. Tidying up the den just a little bit. Just Charlie's toys were everywhere, and then cleaning up the um, pillows that needed to be kind of fluffed. And then I'm finishing up the kitchen. This is funny, as I was editing this video, I realized how out of order sometimes I clean. Sometimes I go ahead and I just like go and clean our bedroom top to bottom. And then sometimes, and I think more often than not, I do kind of what I'm doing today, which I have not rearranged. This is exactly the order that I cleaned in, where I'll clean a little bit in the bedroom and then I'll come out and do something in the kitchen and fluff up the den and then I'll vacuum the bedroom, then I'll come back to the kitchen and tidy up. I just think I like a change of scenery kind of and um, that's what I was doing on this day. Wiping down the countertops with one final wipe down this top part with the um, Caldrea Sea Salt Neroli Spray. Once again, smells super, super good. It's It works really well, I love it. And um, just kind of wiping everything down and calling the kitchen done. And so whenever I call the kitchen done because it is a chore to clean a kitchen, especially one that is as dirty as ours was. I always like to light a candle at the end. It's like my reward of like, okay, I'm done with the kitchen. I can light a candle. I'm sure some of you guys do that too. As I was cleaning today, I did throw our towels from our master bedroom into the wash. And so I was folding them and putting them back in the bathroom now that they're nice and clean. I will clean the bathrooms another day. That was something that I, that was kind of on my bonus list for today. But you can see, I think on the clock there, it's about six o'clock and um, I was tired and it was time to call it a day. Hey guys, it is about 6.30 now and I just wanted to round out this video and tell you thank you so much for watching. It felt really good today to get as much done as I could as far as re resetting our house, cleaning things, washing the sheets, the comforter, washing all of our towels, just all kinds of different things. You've seen this video, you already know. I did um, predict in the morning that I wouldn't get everything done and that was true. So I still need to take down our Christmas decorations. That was something that I wanted to work on today and I did chip away at it just a little bit. I don't think I filmed really any of that but as I was kind of cleaning things up when I was coming across Christmas decor, I put them in a pile in our front room and then tomorrow I'm hoping to pull out some bins and start to pack those things away and get them um, stored away for the rest of the year. Usually I like to do that a little bit sooner, but you know what? When you get sick, everything just kind of gets on a different timetable. One thing I'm really grateful for about today was that as I mentioned, the weather is it's still beautiful even though it's 6.30 p.m. It's still like 60 or 65 degrees. And so we have had all of the windows open all day long and it just smells really fresh in here. It feels really fresh. It's just, it's really, it's good. It feels good. So it was, I'm glad that I got to do the reset that I got to do today. I still have some things that I wanna get done tomorrow um, and that probably the next day as well, I'll probably be chipping away at this little by little because when two people, you know, both of us were home all week. Um, well, for we were both home for about two weeks and both of us were sick on and off. And so not a lot of housework got done on either end. Riley did a couple loads of laundry to tide us over. I did a couple, you know, dishwashing moments or whatever. I did loaded the dishes a couple of times to tide us over, but overall it was pretty much a mess. So that's that. That's the end of this clean with me video. Do you like videos like this? Do you like following along as I kind of clean and tidy my house? Because if you do, I will definitely work on filming more this year because it's something I'm always cleaning or tidying something. I really get a lot of relaxation out of keeping my house tidy. So if you do enjoy these types of videos, give this video a thumb up, thumbs up, leave me a comment below and I'll make sure to film more in the future. Thanks so much for coming along. Would love to hear how you're doing. If you have been working on resetting your home for 2019, if you do kind of like a January spring cleaning type of thing, or if you wait or how you kind of manage that. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.